got here, there was a lot of vegetable and some cattle. But now it's basically all sugar. And a lot of Cubans knew how to do the sugar. So that's how they got jobs. So we were in Miami a little while, uh, living with uh, basically what President Kennedy had altered the law to allow American, Cuban Americans to work. When we first arrived, we couldn't hold jobs. I'm talking about we in terms of my dad. Um, obviously, I was only like nine years old. So then I heard about this job offering here in the Glades where there was going to be some sugar mills built. So my dad came, and even though he didn't know anything about sugar, he lied. So he could get a job. And um, so that's how we ended up in the Glades. And my recollection was uh, going up on the deck in the hole, drive up. And dad had come like a month before. He had set up, rented a house so he could go to work. So then he, he brought the family with him. My brother, and then I have a younger sister that had been born like in the late 50s. Um, and then when we drove up, it was amazing. I mean, when you see Lake Okeechobee for the first time from the Pahokee point of view, if you look at it from Belle Wade, you know, I think the island, Torrey Island, kind of hides it. The Pahokee has the best view of the lake because it looks like an ocean. When you get up on the Pahokee side and you drive up, you cannot see the other side of the lake. You know? So here I am, you know, nine years old, and I thought I was like, you know, <laughs> some conquistador looking at, you know, the Pacific Ocean for the first time by four or something. It was amazing, it really was. And in essence, the town of Pahokee would resemble my small town in Cuba a lot more than, say, Havana or Miami. Those were just big cities that I wasn't used to. So I reached a real comfort level coming to Pahokee.